We're gonna work with the big ball today. Uh, the ball is fabulous for working your stabilization, where, which works deep into your core muscles. It's gonna allow us to maybe get some joint mobility while working our stability of our core. So it's gonna feel really good. We're gonna get our spine in all directions. So by the end of class, you just feel energized, more connected to your body and ready to start your day. So go ahead, grab your ball and let's get started. So we're gonna start standing. Um, if you lose the, the ball in the camera, I apologize. I'm working with a specific amount of space here and camera angles. Okay, so just standing feet about hip distance and placing the ball right on the front of your hips, holding the ball with your palms, nice um, energized fingertips here. And as you press into the ball, pushing the ball down towards the floor as it kind of presses in towards your hips. You're gonna activate your back muscles, pull in your belly muscles, close your eyes here and just take three cleansing breaths, breathing it in, breathe out. The breath just lets us get focused in the moment here, breathe in, breathe out, preparing your body to be fully focused for this workout. One more time, breathe it in. And breathe it out. Good, so now we're gonna just take the chin towards your chest. Start to roll down through the spine. The ball will start to roll down your legs. Make sure your hips don't sink back. We're just diving our head towards the floor as our hips stay over our heels. Holding yourself right here, you can start to press down your head into the ball if that feels okay. If it's too far, you just hold the ball with your hands. All right, and so we're just kind of pressing here. And then we're going to roll it up. So take an inhale to prepare, really pull the belly in. Exhale as you just bring it right back up. And just start to take the chin towards the chest as you pull your belly in. Diving it down towards the floor. So pushing the crown of your head into the ball as you lift your belly up to your spine. Heels and feet stay down. And we start to roll it up. Stacking it up through the spine, one bone at a time. One more time. Right here, this is what we do for our 100. This is our ab flexion. It's the same position. As we continue to roll, this is like our roll up that we do on the mat, but we're just standing. So same movement in a standing position. And we roll it on up. Reaching the ball in front of you, find that arm back connection, push your tailbone down, and we're gonna lift the arms up towards the sky. As you hold yourself here, you're gonna pull your ribs in and shrug the shoulders up to the ears and pull them back down as you place the ball on top of your head. All right, so I'm pushing the ball into my head as the head reaches up towards the ball. Push your tailbone down. Again, reach the ball up, shrug the shoulders towards your ears, Pull the shoulders down, press the ball into the head, the head into the ball, feel that opposition. Your feet are planting into the earth as your head reaches up to the sky. Your belly's pulled in, your tailbone's reaching down. Feel all that work. One more time, stretch it up, shrug the shoulders, and pull down and press. Good, now reach the arms up to the sky, take them in front of your shoulder. Good, pull your elbows wide. As you pull your elbows wide, feel the arm connection onto your back reach it forward, pull. So we're just kind of feeling how the arms work from the back muscles. The back muscles are the foundation of your arms here. Two more times, we inhale, exhale one more time, inhale, exhale. Now pull it in, inhale, reach your chest up towards the sky as you push your tailbone down into the ground, come back to center, let that ball roll down your body as you bring the crown of your head to the ball. Hold that position for a second as you scoop your belly up to the sky and push your head into the ball. Take your hands more towards the front of the ball, bend your knees and start to press that ball out. As you press that ball out, you're gonna to continue to push it out. Keep the arm connection on the back that you just worked and then sink your arms and your ears towards one another as you sink your butt back towards the wall behind you. And then you're just gonna press your chest towards that ball your chest and your nose sort of follow the same angle. So wherever your chest is pressing towards, your nose does as well. Good. 
and then we're going to come back to center and we're going to pull that ball into us and find that flexed over position and then you're going to roll it up through the spine let's go ahead reach the arms up towards the sky hold that there give yourself a side bend keep the arm back connection so as you side bend you're not letting that bottom arm go do you feel the difference first side bending and keeping that arm back connection really solid good come back to center as you come to center you're pressing the ball into your head the head into the ball and now we're going to rotate the spine come to center rotate the spine come to center reach the ball up to the sky bring it down towards your hips and now we start to roll it down again and as you're here just feel that flex position take the hands top of the ball push that ball out walk your fingers out start to bend the knees and bring your arms by your ears as you kind of just flex back in that feel that hip stretch good and then continue to push that ball out so you're pushing the chest forward and that lets the ball go forward more your nose and chest follow that angle and feel that stretch as your hips go back your chest goes forward we come back to center we pull that ball towards our feet and we roll it up arm back connection as you reach the arms up towards the ceiling give yourself a side bend over come up side bend over come up bring it back to center and now we rotate feel the head into the ball the ball into the head and reach up bring it down and find more of a flow now with it as we flex push and extend and pull it back up and reach we'll side bend the other way now start with that over and come back to center and rotate and rotate reach the ball up take it down by the hips and roll it down scoop and stretch bend and reach and pull it back up again that side then starts on that other way good come here and rotate and rotate come back to center now reach those arms up towards the sky as you reach them up to the sky you're going to hold them into your palm and really find that arm back connection start to reach the ball back behind your head all right but we're keeping our tailbone down so you're not arching through that low back keep that tailbone down and try to push your chest up to the sky your nose will follow so your nose and chest reach up to the sky as your tailbone reaches down feel that upper back bend come back to center bring it here and just flex through that upper back so this is like a little ab curl here what we do in the hundred and then we come up we reach it up and press it back and lift the chest up as you push your tail down good come back to center and a little ab flexion one more time so your lower half your pelvis is not shifting it's staying in that same position as you push your tail down you might have to push a little bit more as you go into extension so it's a working alignment here right we're not locking the knees out come back to center again the pelvis doesn't move it's just that upper back flexing so you're going to use your abdominals here those upper abs now we'll continue to go down and just feel that stretch as you push the crown of your head into the ball and feel the stretch and then ah, roll it up okay so we're gonna spin it around you're gonna take a seat on the ball and if you want a mat below you that's fine too okay you can do it without a mat or with a mat i like it because it's like my feet are sticky to the floor but it would be the same with a mat all right so what i want you to do is find like a deep squat here all right, my feet are a little bit wider than my hips or as wide as my hips, okay? And then feel your tailbone sink to the floor. All right, you wanna press your thighs out a bit, feel that stretch. And you're actively pushing the tailbone to the floor and just feeling good, that deep squat of the hip, good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push with the legs, you're gonna keep your abs stable or abs engaged so that you can stay stable over the ball. So you're gonna push and then you're gonna dive and then you're gonna reach. 
All right, and if you need to adjust yourself on the ball, go ahead. We get a nice good back bend here. So I'm reaching through my tailbone, same idea as when we were standing, and my chest and my nose are reaching the wall behind me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Skittles is coming to say hi. Okay, now I'm gonna drag it back in. So you're gonna use the backs of your legs, use your hamstrings as you come up, bring the chin to your chest and find that deep squat. Tailbone down. All right, so now, give me, now you know where you're going, okay? You're adjusted to where you need to. Take your arms and give it a back dive. And your legs are working as well to help stabilize you. Belly in and feel that kind of hip rib connection, right? As you press your chest and nose in the same direction. And then we start to drag it in. So you're using your hamstrings and your abdominals as you come up, you'll use your neck muscles to bring the chin back to alignment and then stretch. Good, all right, and inhale. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Maybe your fingertips touch the floor, maybe not. Exhale, also depends on how big the ball is. We all probably have different inflations, right, <laughs> of our ball. One more time, inhale. Ah, beautiful, and exhale. All right, so now we're just gonna come up a little bit more on our ball. Interlace the fingers behind you so your head is in your hands, your hands in the head, and let's just take it back on an inhale. Exhale, keep the weight of the head in the hand. So you can really feel those upper abs lift the head and the shoulders and the chest. So I want you to rely on those abdominals to do that flexion so that when we get down on our mat, you can remember this feeling. So it's not the neck and it's not momentum, okay? Really focus on that band of abdominals that are attached to your ribs that help lift you. Good. Two more. And bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Awesome. Okay, so now you might wanna take a mat for behind you, go ahead. I'm just gonna lie on the ground here, but feel free to have a mat underneath you, okay? And you want to take your body so you're really lined up and you feel yourself really kind of centered here. Okay, beautiful. All right, so I want you to flex your feet, bring your heels and your hips together, push that ball up, and then push your hands into the ball and stretch that ball back behind you so you can feel your arm back connection. We're going to do a roll up here. So you're going to reach the ball up and over. Now feel those upper abs flex you right here, right? And then we take it over and then point your toes here so you can just slide that ball along your feet and your legs. Feel that good deep stretch. And as the ball reaches forward, your belly pulls back. And then flex the feet, reach it back and stretch. And up and over. Using a deep stretch to really feel the belly and your hips press down and together. Good, back. So you'll notice as you come up, your tailbone is still pressing down, right? It's pushing down to the floor, not back behind you. And then feel that stretch. And up. You get two more, okay? Excellent. All right, so we're gonna go right into single leg stretch, double leg stretch. So my head, neck, and shoulders are gonna stay up, just like we did when we did our roll down, right? We used our upper abs, just like we did when we were sitting on the ball, where I had your upper abs lift your head, neck, and shoulders. And your upper abs are just gonna work the entire time, keeping this position, holding the ball in your palms, 
reach one leg in, one leg out, and switch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Two. One. And hug it in. Stretch it back behind you. Feel that arm back connection. Good. Bring it back up. Okay, so now double leg stretch where we're going to take the ball in our hands and in our legs. So take an inhale here. Exhale, flex it up. Pull the knees in towards your armpits as your heels stay connected. So on the inhale, reach the arms and legs. On the exhale, bring it back in. Open those heels. And the ball is now in between your ankles. Inhale, reach. Exhale, it's now in your hands. Inhale, reach. Exhale. You're going to do five of these. Not sure how I, if I counted right. <laughs> and hug it down and reach good and then just stretch your legs reach connect the heels connect the hips anchor those heels and we're going to roll ourselves up get a good stretch here stretch it good and roll it on up excellent okay so now what i want you to do is you're going to get your legs sort of as wide as you can while keeping your pelvis down okay so your toes are faced up to the ceiling and your knees are faced up to the ceiling and you're just going to get kind of wide there. And I want your tailbone down and make sure your pelvis is vertical and upright. So as you press your heels and your hips down, you're pulling your kneecap sort of up towards your hips and you're sitting tall. Good. So the lower half is super anchored as you take an inhale and then exhale, dive it over and feel that stretch. And as you go forward, anchor the heels and the hips, pull the knees up towards your hips. Make sure you're not turning your hips out. Knees and toes face up to the ceiling, stretch. And maybe the ball can push a little further, stretch one more time, stretch and roll it up through the spine. Good, inhale here, exhale, flex it forward. A little deeper two, a little deeper one. And then roll it back up. And again, dive it. And two. And three, really anchor more as you stretch. And roll it up, 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 up. And again, inhale, exhale. And up. One more time. One and two. Deeper three. And bring it on up. Good job. Okay, so from here, I just want you to spin that ball around and we're going to kind of press our body over it. All right, so now I'm going to have sort of the bulk of my weight on my legs. As I just let my body rest over the ball, it's gonna give a good stretch, especially to that low back. And I want you to push your tailbone down like we've been doing. All right, and notice what that does. It elongates the back a little bit more, okay? And so now with our hands right on the ball, I want you to take an inhale and then push your pubic bone into the ball, push your tailbone down, and then you're gonna to start to reach the chest and the nose forward arms stay on your back and get that extension. And when you feel like you have a nice equal arc throughout the spine and you're not just pushing into the low back, feel how that opens the hips too. You're gonna then bring your body down. Okay, try it again. It's really important to feel the pelvis kind of really stabilize onto that ball. So you're pushing the tailbone down, pubic bone goes into that ball a bit, belly pulls in and feel the chest reach and the nose just sort of follows what the chest is doing and bring it down inhale
uh, exhale, just kind of mentally feel that nice, even, equal arc. And bring it on down. Good. All right. So we're going to go a little bit further um, to that ball. I'm just going to go back a little bit. So the camera keeps me sort of centered here. All right. So now you're going to put more of your pelvis onto that ball. Your hands are sort of right underneath your shoulders. And then I want you to lift those legs. So the thighs are lined up and your toes are lined up with your hip bones. Okay. Now push your tailbone long like you've been doing it. So your tailbone now reaches to the opposite wall. Your pubic bone is still into that ball. Yeah. And then what I want you to do is you're going to connect your heels and your knees will go out a little bit. So it's like a froggy position. Your thighs, right, are still lined up with your hip bones. So you've got to push deeper with your tailbone and connect those heels. Do you feel your butt muscles and hamstring muscles working? All right. So the whole back of the pelvis is working. Your arms are just kickstands here. Arms on the back. Pull your belly in. All right, now as you squeeze your heels, feel your muscles deeper in your seat and release and squeeze and release. Squeeze for three. So you're not lifting the knees any higher. You're keeping them where they are. This is just an isometric squeeze for two. Feet up to the ceiling. One more. Now hold that last one as you squeeze it. Now I'm gonna to try to have you lift the knees a little bit higher but nothing changes in your pelvis and lower. So when you lift, it doesn't arch your pelvis, so then you go into your low back, right? When you lift the knees, you're almost reaching that tailbone deeper, pubic bone deeper for four. Squeeze the heels, lift three. Squeeze the heels, lift two. One more time, squeeze and lift for one. Release, come down, give that stretch, uh -huh. and then we come up. And this is where if you don't have a mat, you might want a mat because we're going to be on the knees. Okay, so you want your knees to be kind of hip bone distant, maybe a little bit closer. And you're going to feel your knees press down and pull towards one another. Okay, tailbone down, belly in, you're upright, just hand on the ball. Okay, so now I'm gonna push into this ball to feel the arm back connection on this side. This arm comes up. Inhale, we just stretch up and over. I'm not bringing my hips with me. They stay there and then we come up and stretch it over. Inhale, feel that stretch and opening all the way up that side. Exhale up and inhale over. This is like a kickstand so that shoulder's not going up to your ear, right? Really supported here. You're lifting up and over. Two more. Inhale. Exhale one more time. Take it over. And then you're just going to kind of rotate towards that ball. Come back center. Lift it up. Pull that ball into your hips. So now it's resting right against my thigh. I'm going to take this leg out and then just lean my body onto here. Okay. And you can hold like other side based on how big your ball is. If yours is a big ball, you can't reach the floor, you can hold right here. Or if you don't wanna touch the floor, you can stay right here, <laughs> either way. All right, so we wanna keep our hips square. You're gonna lift this leg so the thigh is lined up with your hip. Reach long through your tail, right? That doesn't change. So when you can feel that, when you reach long through your tail, it elongates your low back. We're just gonna tap that leg down and bring it up. And you can take this hand right behind your head, push your head in your hands, your hands in your head, this hand can stay here or go down to the floor, whatever you'd like to do. We've got five lifts, so we're at three, two. You're gonna hold it there on one, and then we go forward with that leg and back, and you wanna try to stay stable on that ball. Forward and back, and you're keeping that leg the same level as your hip for three, for two, for one. Bring it center, lift that leg higher, lift your arm, you're like a star here, and bring it in. Good, come up, beautiful. All right, other side. All right, so we're here. Feel your knees kind of press down, press towards one another, yeah? All right, so holding, 
push your palm into your ball and feel the connection of the arm on your back. Okay, this arm comes up, we inhale, oh, up and over, and your sides are gonna feel different, yeah? I'm always tighter on the side. So you wanna be careful that our hips don't move. They don't go forward, they don't go back, they don't go towards the ball. Can you really stabilize them? So that's why I like to think knees down and towards one another, tailbone down. So just stretch up and over. This arm does not go up to your shoulder. It's connected to your back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And then you can exhale and just feel that rotation. Make sure your hips don't sink back. We come back up to center and bring it in and pull that ball right into your thigh. This leg reaches and we're gonna just kind of go over that ball. So now our hips line up forward. This hip rests for a little support and you can hold your ball or the floor, okay? And we lift and lower and you're trying to lift that heel so it lines up with your butt bone, hip bone. You can take this hand behind your head. We've got five of these. I'll do a three. And reach that leg long, two. Feel your tailbone reach long, one. Hold right here so your tailbone reaches long just like that leg, yeah? And then we bring the leg forward and back like it's sliding along a shelf so it's not lowering. It's staying the level of that hip and you're not rocking and rolling that ball. Three. Two, one, now reach it long, reach that arm long, like a starfish, stretch up, up, and release, and take it in, good job. All right, so turn towards that ball, and we're just going to stretch it forward as we uh, push our hips back. You can drop your head a little, and then push forward. You can let your knees widen if you want. Oh, nice deep inhale. Exhale, and come right up. Yay, and then you can stand up if you want, walk around a bit, um, whatever you need to do ah, to feel good. Um, all right, how do you feel? How'd that go for you? Um, so I like using the ball because it allows you to take the shape of the spine. We moved the spine in all directions, which was great. And we also were able to open up the hips a bit and work some hip strength as well as the arm back connection. So all those wonderful things that we need to do for our bodies to keep it supple and healthy and feel the coordination and balance in our body and all that wonderful stuff. If you would like to do some free challenges with me, I have lots of free challenges on my website. Just go to balancetothecore.com. You'll see free challenges there in the upper right. I've got five days, eight days, 10 days, 21 days, 30 days. Um, pick what you want to choose. They all have a a bit of a, an intention in them, whether it's core strength or flexibility or coordination, just you can find something, self-love, all of those wonderful things um, for you there. And they're free, which is great. So thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to the channel if you never want to miss a video. Oh, and if you like my, my leggings, oh my gosh, I found these on Amazon. I'm absolutely loving them. I have them in all the colors. They are buttery soft they're affordable they are my new favorite things i've been wearing them for a couple months now and absolutely love them i'll put the link in the description below if you want to give them a try i highly recommend um but yeah thanks so much for being here and i will see you next week on the mat take care